gals and guys go to tracy brown live go to tracy brown live go to tracy brown live gals and guys go to tracy brown live go to tracy brown live go to tracy brown live Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. How are you all doing tonight? Ah, let me look at the comments first, and then we'll go straight into all this P. Diddy stuff, which I knew it was way too quiet. I was like, this is, this is what I call quiet for a known criminal. And it done got revved up again. So I want to check into Mary J. Blige. And I want to see, of course, why she's not talking. And I guess the next person we would have to check into is little Kim. We'll check into Mary first, okay? Let me see what I was going to do. I was going to look at all the comments. No sound. I got you. Hi, Angela. Hi, Demetria. Hi, Mother of Brats. Hi, Incognito. Hi, Jenny G. Hi, Millicent. Hi, Sophisticated Conjure. How are you? Um, and you? And you? Where have you been? Hi. Uh, I got you. I got you. No sound. Creative So, Hello. Oh, you look pretty. Thank you. I actually feel the maturity now. I know it, it doesn't come across on screen, but I am actually feeling my age now. I think I'm looking my age. I think if you see me in person, you might be like, hmm. No, that's not true. <laughs> Oh my God. Okay. I had lipstick on, but for some reason, this particular lipstick doesn't stain my lips. I like glossy lips that stain it. That way, when it comes off, there's a residue of the stain there, but that's not this. It's cheap. Good. Can hear you fine. Thank you. Noel. Hi. Hi, Tracy. Hey, everyone. Anna Rivera. Hi. Where have you been? So with all that, with everyone is here right now. If you need a reading from me, I am available tonight. 
especially for my Pacific people. I'm still available. Um, so let's look at that. On the screen, text me at 213-458-7408. All right, let's go back to the comments. Hi, baby girl, 1981. What a beautiful picture. Ah, she's a Capricorn. That's good to know. And Jewel, thank you. Still I rise, T, one day at a time. 100% so good to see you. Oh, thank you, and Jewel. Um, hi, Rhonda. Uh, sophisticated girl. Oh, Mary's a Capricorn. Anna, hiding. <laughs> it's okay to hide. Oh, my goodness. I wish I can hide. I can never hide, but it's okay to hide, child. So if Mary is a Capricorn, does that surprise you? Why she would be so shut mouth, right? During the age of Capricorn, which we just left, it was all about making money. And I don't believe Mary has made that much money over her singing career, to be honest with you. I think most of it was stolen. I'm also like, I want to check into her husband too. Because the husband was also the manager. Got it. Capricorns don't speak unless they have to. This is true. And if you couple that with a corrupt boss that's feeding you drugs, alcohol, not paying you your worth, and you think you're broke all the time, or that's what your boss might even be impressing upon you, so you would do anything just to make sure you keep working? Because you think you need the money, even though your boss is stealing from you. Also, in the age of Capricorn, who was she going to say something to? No one. So let's take a look at this video. Or should I wait till more people come on? Because usually people come on and then they go, what are you talking about? Or da da da. And I would have just explained everything, but it's okay. Right here is a lot in here. It's mango leaves, green tea, four bags of green tea, ginger, guava leaves, and burdock root. Hi, Brooklyn. But you know what else I notice about Capricorns? They're not corruptible. Like I just did a video on Cassie, everyone. Please go check it out. I did it this afternoon. And I have found that Capricorns are not corruptible. To my surprise, Cassie was. But then I, when I look at other artists, I could see where Virgos are corruptible, like a Jay-Z is corruptible. But Capricorns aren't necessarily. And so it seems to me that no matter what Mary been through, was she corruptible? That means we've got to look at her moon sign. We have to look at her rising sign. And she admits that the world discovered her at a place where she was in healing. 
but what does that mean, Mary? Did you do things? So, D, I agree. That Cassie reading was, whoa. I mean, what spirit came to tell me is no, no joke. Oh, the husband is a Leo. He's a Leo. He's corruptible. I've never dated a Leo man. I'm of gratitude. God never gave me a Leo man, but it's my understanding. They ain't shit. That's my understanding. I don't know. Y'all have to tell me because I've never dated a Leo man. And I think I'm kind of glad about that. So y'all tell me. That's good to know. That's good to know. Little Kim's birthday. We're going to do her when the time comes. Her name's not coming up. And y'all know me, I won't bring up a character until they show up in the media and her name has not been making an appearance. Sophisticated Conja, I dated a Leo man and they are controlling and they are secretive as a sun sign, yes. Yeah, I wanna make something very clear. I am not talking about Capricorns, Tauruses, and Virgos. I'm actually looking at the shadow side under P. Diddy's umbrella, because we all have a negative side in our signs, all of us. So I'm looking for, can, can Capricorns have shadow? A lot of it. I don't know. See, didn't I say somebody was gonna come along and be like, what happened? My daughter's father is a sun sign, Leo. Um, deception is an understatement. I hear Leo men are the worst. Leo women, don't worry about it. Leo men, I hear they are the worst. Yeah, they all do, but I'm wondering to what degree, right? And what I found in Cassie's reading is that she did things by design. Like she did things, she fed pills to people. Like that's corruptible. Um, but you're right, they all know something, but what I'm looking for is, is it like, P. Diddy feels like a um, uh, Charles Mason, Charles Manson, he feels like the type that's like, no, I kept my hands clean. He carried the drugs. She beat the shit out of her, da, 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 da. But my hands are clean. That's what he feels like to me, except for his the way he would beat people down. <laughs> Y'all will not stop over the Leo men. Leo men are the worst. <laughs> There's any Leo men here. Can't even apologize. I don't hear good things about Leo men. <laughs> and I'm a Leo. I have never heard a good thing about a Leo man. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Y'all got some explaining to do. Oh, this is ridiculous. Okay. Let's see what Mary has said about herself. I got a video for you. Sit back and enjoy. And we'll talk when we come back. Travel fast in the industry. Apparently, there has been gossip about Mary J. Blige and her rumored strained relationship with Diddy. And now it appears the actress has finally spoken, confirming what remained a mystery for decades. Mary is a jack of all trades. From being a talented actress to a remarkable singer and even being a songwriter, she has spread her magic all over the industry. However, as sweet as it sounds, as harsh as her past, aware of her close relationship with Diddy and how the mogul helped her climb the stairs to stardom. 
From what Mary is today, she certainly owes a lot of credit to the record producer for smoothing her path. But nothing comes cheap. In Mary's case, we are starting to discover the price the actress might have paid for it and still remained silent up till now, has remained in the headlines for a long time now. No one is unaware of the reported atrocities he pinned on his co-artists. There have been countless lawsuits made against the rapper, and he is in deep waters now. While some believe Diddy is actually guilty of the alleged crimes, they also believe Mary's situation was even worse than the others. It is being believed widely among the fan base that even if Mary did not face similar torture to the other women, she might be aware of the truth behind the lawsuits and can confirm them. It has become a norm for Diddy to wake up each day to a new lawsuit filed against him. However, this time, he might not be able to recover from it as two women, Faith Evans and Mary J. Blige, have reportedly stepped up against him. Faith Evans shared a picture of hers laughing hysterically. Many thought it was to hint towards the messed up situation Diddy was caught in and her reaction to it. Why are the viewers linking Faith's post with Puff? Well, the pair has had some history together back when Evans used to work for Bad Boy Records. One might argue this has nothing to do with Sean Combs, but can you also deny Mary's statement being linked with Puff too? The singer shared a quote where she talked about her past compared to who she is now. It read, Unfortunately, a lot of you met me when I lacked boundaries and was a people pleaser. Let me reintroduce myself. I burn bridges as needed. What is the singer trying to hint at? What past is she talking about? Mary, before becoming who she is now, had to work with all her force and might to get where she is today. Being nominated twice for Academy Awards, thrice for Golden Globe Awards, nine Grammy Awards, and much more, the prison song actress made the world acknowledge her talent and greatness. Mary fought all the obstacles that came her way. However, surprisingly, the person who was reportedly the root of all evil was none other than Sean Combs. In an interview with Rolling Stone, Mary made severe revelations. She explained how Puff, who oversaw her first two albums, was not loyal to her while the pair shared a romantic bond. Also, she talked about how Puff took credit for the work Mary did and forced her into contracts, disadvantageous for her. When you're young and have a passion, the successful people in the field inspire you. You want to become like them. The same was the case with Blige. She was attracted to Diddy because of his charm and charisma. She revealed how the rapper made her see big dreams about transforming her into a big star one day and promised to be her savior in the industry, when in reality, Diddy reportedly used her as a cash cow and was not even faithful to her. The singer also showed light on how the rapper took control of her life and directed her in every aspect which irritated her. He was my everything. He was my manager, my producer, my boyfriend, my mentor. He made me feel like I was the only one who mattered, Blige said. But he was lying to me all along. He was sleeping with other artists, other models, other actresses. He was stealing from me, taking my royalties, my publishing, my masters. He was controlling me, telling me what to wear, how to sing, what to say. He was exploiting me, using me for his own gain. Further on, the actress claimed to be aware of Diddy's lies when she came to know about how he fathered a child back in 1998 with another woman. According to Mary, she wanted to end all her ties with the rapper, but he refused to do so. As Mary informed the interviewer, Diddy made promises to her of how he would become a better person for her, but the actress believed it was all a pile of lies and all Puff wanted was to steal money from her. He begged me to stay with him. He said he loved me and he would change. He said he needed me and he couldn't do it without me. He said he would give me everything I deserved, Bleeg said. But it was all lies. He didn't want to lose me because I was his golden goose. I was making him millions of dollars. I was his ticket to fame and fortune. Many artists have stepped up against the Bad Boy Records founder and claimed how he used to manipulate his power and authority and threaten anyone who would not act according to the rapper's wishes. Mary was a victim too. Mary reported that the mogul claimed to sue her, blacklist her, ruin her reputation, and even hurt her physically if she decided to cut ties with him. He was a powerful man in the industry. He had connections everywhere. He had lawyers, bodyguards, hitmen. He had people who would do anything for him, Blig said. He told me that if I ever left him, he would make sure I never worked again. He told me that if I ever spoke out against him, he would make sure I never lived again. 
Blige recalled how she had to live with fear in her heart for years until she decided to shove it off and find the courage to step up, which she did in 2001. She restructured everything, hired new lawyers, managers, and producers. Mary also claimed to receive spiritual healing, therapy, and sobriety to heal herself from the trauma she received while being with Puff. I had to fight for my life. I had to fight for my freedom. I had to fight for my dignity, Blige said. I had to overcome the pain, the anger, the betrayal, the addiction, the depression. I had to find myself again. I had to find my voice again. Bilka described how her stepping up involved her wish to be an inspiration for other women and also make the world aware of Diddy's reality. He's not the genius that he claims to be. He's not the visionary that he pretends to be. He's not the mogul that he wants to be, Blige said. He's a parasite. He's a leech. He's a monster. Blige mentioned how she does not regret working with Diddy in the past as it led her to become a better artist and a better person. Ma you know, I'm going to tell you guys something. I want you to be very, very careful when you use a statement like, I don't regret working with the devil. The devil made me who I am today. Now, replace the word devil with P. Diddy, Weinstein, Drake. I don't regret. I want to tell you, you should always regret working with a devil. If you don't regret it, you will get pulled back in again someday. Because you have to recognize that working with the devil, P. Diddy, that he actually ruined your life. And that you could have been so much more without him. You were just too scared to try. Let me see what everybody is saying. Hi, Kathy Kai, right? Well, it might be AI and it might be generated lies, but everything, there's truth in there somewhere. Sorry. There's truth in there somewhere. I don't care, Kathy Kai. There's truth in there somewhere. I always thought that she had slept with him. If you look at his pattern, he sleeps with his artist. Everybody is sensitive today. I don't think he's going to talk. She's not ready to lose everything. I think she might be forced to talk. <laughs> oh, Missy, nobody said anything about Pisces. Do you stalk people? What's, what is that confession, child? <laughs> Oh, somebody said Leo's men are stalkers, Pisces, too. <laughs> yeah, that, I'm not going to get on Pisces. <laughs> he showed his, and you know what's funny? He's actually scared of clowns. He is petrified of clowns. All right. No, I wouldn't say we love you, Leo men. No. I think if Leo men need changing, please encourage them to change. I'm not going to say I love anybody that historically I keep hearing bad things about. Historically. Which I just feel sad. When did she work with him again? No, Kepi Kai. No. <laughs> no. Diddy sleeps with everybody. 
And she was in the early stages. No, he slept with his, uh, his assistant, Kim Porter. Mm -mm. Nope. Not only do I believe that uh, Mary slept with Diddy, I think she had a baby for him and an abortion. I don't know where I'm getting that from, but I'm sticking to it. He slept with her. They had a brother sister relationship. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Historically, that's not a P. Diddy. <laughs> but I love, I love it though. But uh, I don't think it's going to be an option. Um, I think the question that I'm asking, will she talk? I think the question that I'm asking is, will it be under a legal reason? That's what I'm asking. No, this is a true story. He's scared of clowns. She did not mention, right? Did not. That's, I'm, that's what I'm saying. I'm sticking to it. Mary is going to do whatever the higher ups tell her to do. If that means speak out against him, she will. If it means saving her empire, she will speak out against him. Hi, Bree. All right, guys. Mary, please, God, talk to me. Talk to me about Mary J. Blige. Please allow me to see anything and everything that you would like for me to see. Mary's your child. She's your love. She is your beloved, Father God. Please authorize me to see and say what you would like for me to say and see. I love you, God. I love you, Jesus. In your name I pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Remember, the first 10 years of her career, she was drugged. She would go on interviews drugged. So what makes anyone think <clears throat> that if you're drugged out, sprung out, that Diddy's not going to take you. <laughs> and he supplied the drugs. <laughs> uh, that would be good. Locked in a room with clowns. No. No, 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 no. No. Oh, my God. Y'all don't know the story of Mary? Mary was drugged out before her husband came along way before her first 10 years of her career with P. Diddy, she was on drugs. You remember she used to do interviews drugged out, drugs and alcohol, exactly. She was a mess. I don't know if we're all in the same age bracket, but some of us were there watching this, looking at her interviews and going, who does interviews in glasses? Years later, she admitted that she did interviews in her sunglasses because she didn't want the public to see how drunk she was. <laughs> was she? No, it's okay, Miss Thomas. Sometimes we can sit back and learn. She used to do live performances drunk. Yeah, she was a hot mess. How she wound up successful in the end. Whew, you had to give your life over to Jesus because she was at her last straw. Drunken cussing folks out. That is the best. That is the best. Oh my God. I'm loving it. It 
if anybody wants to come on, man, V. I'm always so shocked that I can actually do things on this computer. If anybody wants to come on, you don't have to bring your camera on and give us any juice, we'll take the juice. Who's JoJo? Who's JoJo? From Jodeci? JoJo? <laughs> oh my God. She said she was high in that video. What? Casey. Oh. Was K and C was the high couple. The guy from Jodeci she dated. Oh. Y'all got more, more dips than I do. Okay. Did I pray already? Please, God. Did I pray? Please, God, talk to me. Talk to me about Mary J. Blige. Please allow me to see anything and everything that you would like for me to see. Mary is your child. She is your love. She is your beloved, Father God. Please authorize me to see and say what you would like for me to say and see. I love you, God. I love you, Jesus. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen. Ashe. All right. You were a teen in the 90s? Oh, you remember stuff. She was pregnant with K C baby. Hmm. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Nope, 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 nope. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I'm not believing anything. <laughs> Only what spirit tells me. <laughs> All right. Let's lower the stage. The first card I'm getting is walking away walking away did she walk away about eight years ago does anybody know did she find her freedom about eight years ago oh see look mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. did she have two abortions by the way and did one of them make her sterile Yes, she did. She walked away. Oh, wait, Savistic. I don't know what you're saying. Yes, she did too. She, her change began about eight years ago. So around 2016. That's when she realized that she was powerful and magical. That's when it came to her that Diddy can take nothing from her. That's when she engaged in spiritual rituals. She has done rituals because whatever happened to her, it was a spell put on her. So she had to engage in rituals to take her power And I always forget, but he did he's a Sagittarius or a Scorpio? Why do I always forget that? He's a Sag? Oh, she did walk away eight years ago. Look at that. God's right off the back are giving me the truth. I always forget. Is he a Sag or a Scorpio? The S is the same thing, Sag or Scorpio. All right. She also left because of a woman. He's a scorpion. Got it. Why do I always want to make him a Sag? All right. He's a Scorpio. He's a Scorpio. Can somebody tell me her husband's name? Her, now, her husband's sign. I don't care about his name. What's his sign? Oh, interesting. Um, 
there's a money woman here. And I believe this money woman works for Diddy. Oh, her husband was a Leo. Interesting. Did she divorce her husband at the same time? Because she was forced to make a decision. 81368. Thank you. She was forced to make a decision. Okay, thank you guys. She had no faith in her husband, who I believe was milking her out of every dime she made. This woman told Mary what this man was doing. This man was working with Diddy. She says she left this man because he cheated on her, but that is not true. He was also stealing from her. And now I'm questioning, guys, stay with me here. I'm questioning if she found him and Diddy in bed together. She had to leave. It was either going to be leave. And I believe that she found her husband in a compromising position, which means she had something over both of them. And she got out with some money in her hand. She left with money in her hand because the decision to leave meant that she no longer had faith in her husband nor in P. Diddy. What you all know as the reason why she left is a lie. I don't know if it's gonna come out, but it was a lie. Didla was stealing husbands too. <laughs> you know what I think, guys? I think Didla sent him in. I think Didla said, much like Didla sent Corey to the Kardashians, to Kris Jenner. I think he sent him in. And so it looked like her husband was protecting her, but all the while he was sharing his income, her income with Diddy. but I do believe that her husband was a handler. Ooh, child, this is terrible. I get the eight of wands. Now the eight of wands is a little suspect and I get an ace of wands, which means she is going to talk in about a month. I don't know if you're gonna understand everything guys, because what I think is going to happen, I think, I think this is going to get televised like Johnny Depp. I think people are so mad with Diddy for being so sloppy in the end that they want to expose everything about him. Even though these are the people he worked for. But they are going to keep their hands clean 
They're going to go on with their music businesses and they are going to put Diddy through the coal and say, dance, bitch. You know, when you play with evil, you don't think you'll be dancing in the fire someday? Oh, that's interesting. Makat says so many celebrities have handlers for spouses. Well, that's interesting. That's uncomfortable. That's suspicious. Oh my God, I love her. All right, let me just put this. I, I always can't find my stuff. Do this, copy. If anybody wants to come on and tell me what you know, I would love it, loving it. You comment and there you go. Okay. Yeah, but everyone can't have immunity though. Others have to go down. We'll see. You know, a, a corrupt system is just that. It's a system. So Rome didn't fall in a day. Oh, yeah. They're going to make him dance in the tutu. <laughs> he might enjoy that tutu, child. <laughs> Let me read the eight of wands, which falls in my hopes and fears. Oh, full steam ahead. We're only at May. In about a month in June, um, the grand jury is going to hear the case. I think by August, there is where August, June, July, August, eight weeks, the number eight. Um, is where we're going to get the case. The public's going to get the case. And the thing about this case, which I'm finding a little interesting, is that they've learned from past cases, especially in New York City. And they know better than to drag this out. They're not going to drag it out. There's something, whoever is, they don't want to drag it out. They want him convicted swiftly. So usually they try to cross their T's and dot their I's. They're like, no, get rid of him. Full steam ahead. Swift action. Um, urgency. Sudden trips. Where does Mary live? Does she live in New York City or someplace else? New friends. All systems are gone. sudden travel by air. Where does Mary live? Because I feel like she's going to have to come to New York. That's what I feel like is going to happen. He's so evil. I have never wanted someone I have never met in jail so badly. Rest in peace to Kim Porter and everyone who lost their lives to that demon. Thank you, Kimberly. Sinjubi says, my ex-husband was a Kevin Hunter. Mary had to go back out and hustle and grind because her ex-husband stole and drained all her money. Yeah, the system allowed, yeah. But I say that to say, 
it's a it's a running system. You know who ruined this system? You know who ruined the game? The kids. The kids ruined the game. Extension. Who else died? Um, who's that one in Compton? They ruined the game. They were not prepared to play this game with the executives. And when they were not willing to play this game, they deleted all of them. But the kids broke the system. I can't look at anyone unless their name comes up in the media. Their name has to come up in the media. I can't look at anyone. Like that's ethically, I can't. Right? Or else um, it's an invasion of privacy. Once it shows up in the media, once it shows up on YouTube, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. I'll do a reading on it. But if they're not showing up, I can't bring up their name. It's just not fair to them. Oh, thanks for the reading. Nobody on the net is talking about what, who, Mary? Mm -hmm. I, I get directed by spirit. Spirit tells me, y'all say California, y'all say Jersey. Where is she? I get her flying, so she can't be in Jersey. Um, all right. I know that. I know that, Tin W. Exactly. All right. I believe that Mary, let me see. Let me make, oh, shit. She's talking to them. But I think it's giving her nervous breakdown energy. She's talking to them. But whatever she has to say, Mary holds a lot of secrets, child. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, because he claimed he didn't do anything but work for her. Ah, is the Southern District involved in this? Well, if it turns Rico, they're trying to make sure it turns Rico. If it turns Rico, then that's the Southern state. She used to love him, guys. I'm sorry, she used to love him. But that ended around 13 years ago. But she was still inebriated and drugged and confused. She is going to destroy him. But to be honest with you, Mary, I fear for your life. As long as this man can make a phone call, I want you to be concerned. So wherever you are living in California, I feel like you should not be there. He doesn't realize how much you remember. What? <gasps> that is shocking. I am so shocked right now. <laughs> she has a lot to tell. And she's like, hello, please. I'm Mary. Who is this Gemini man? An earth sign man. There's a couple of men here that has something to say too. 
Gemini. 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 Earth. Guys, she's taking care of her karma. She's taking care of her karma. And trust and believe she will rise again. Is that the model queen? Ah, the Southern District of New York is who started. Oh, and then got the, oh, they're combining through everything. Call me through but they're not going to let anything fall by the wayside. Yes. All right, guys. This money woman shows up again. Um, It's all coming out. It's all coming out. The high priestess. Where's my book? Oh man, why did I throw here? I'm gonna stop here, guys. The high priestess. Matters not yet revealed. Illumination. Hidden issues. Early memories. hidden influences. I have to add this, the occult, unrevealed secrets, lesbianism. I'm sorry, guys. I think Diddy got Mary caught up in some sexual stuff too. She is the guardian of his hidden wisdom. Something is going on beneath the surface. Hidden knowledge needs to see the light of day. The high priestess appears when you need to listen to your own voice, Mary. Meditate and pray. Contact your inner self, but trust your feelings. You've been having nightmares. It's time to talk. Um, I think she is into spirituality in a secret kind of way, because you know blacks can't blacks can't be, you know, all about, you know, whatever, whatever. So she's not gonna come out and say that she goes to see a psychic. She does. She's not gonna say that her spirituality was all in the metaphysical psychic world. It was because we as blacks still see it as a bad thing. Screw all of you that still make people hide. Because it would be nice if she came out and said something because you don't understand in this world, in this spirituality is power. It's where you don't give a fuck about nobody. No one. It's where you survive when you enter the purple brick road. Oh, thank you. Please hit the like button. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. Thank you. Diddy's always blowing up cars. Mm -hmm. Well, Gina, it's funny you should say that. I do not believe, looking at these cards, that she actually did something to somebody else. Cassie could wind up being a cold conspirator because... As Diddy matured, he realized the best way to keep his hands clean, like Charles Manson, 
is to make others do it. So when I looked at Cassie, it looked like he would tell her, go get that girl, go put something in her drink, befriend her, be nice to her, and she would just do it. And then the videos showed that she was doing things without direction. So Cassie implicated herself. Looking at these cards, I don't believe Mary did. And remember, one of the things that I said is it has to be in you already. When you do something bad, you have to have that in you already. The excuse that you make, why you did it, well, I robbed the bank because I was broke. Others are broke, but they don't rob a bank. Do you see the difference? That's what I'm getting here. Cassie robbed the bank, willingly. I'm not getting that Mary did. So what she has to say is genuine and authentic. And it means this is what I saw, not, and then I helped him. Cassie has to say, well, I helped him because he forced me. Do you see the difference? Suki suki. <laughs> oh, God. Queen Mary is too high to do anything with discernment. She was on Coke since 16. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, oh, you're saying sexually. Interesting. Well, Danny Boy would have to file a case against her. But now I get what you're saying sexually. Uh. Oh, that's disgusting. Why you got to add he wasn't cute? Mary J never used discernment. Well, maybe she might implicate herself. Lord have mercy. Give me strength, Lord, because this is look this is not looking good. All right, guys. Are we good? Did I pull enough cards? And maybe that's the lovers. Maybe that's I didn't see this card the lovers, and then the high priestess. So maybe what's going to happen is that she will implicate P. Diddy and then someone will implicate her. Oh, you didn't have to delete that. Oh. Yeah, you know, the pregnant woman in my deck that doesn't necessarily get birth is a queen of pentacles. So yes, the queen of pentacles next to the lovers, next to the high priestess, it all will come out in a wash. All right, are you good? Yeah, Puffy created the facade, but Everyone didn't have to go along with it. That's the sad part that's going to come out of this. That's the real sad part. I think when somebody says that they've been essayed, I think maybe there could be some truth to it. Yeah, I can't prove that right now. I I understand. I guess I can do a reading on faith to see what that truth is. What's the question on faith? What's the question? Because I can't necessarily post that, but I could check into it. Because she has been in the media. 
Okay. Darn it. I think, let me see. I think I can continue this. Let me see. Copy. Oh, I can't remove it though. Oh, no, it won't let me remove it. Hmm. It is not worth it. Final outcome. Actually, maybe I could let you on, but without the video. Uh, I don't care. I'm not doing it. Oh, yeah, I'm not worried, Trisha. I'll, I'll take it down. It's probably Lamar's people. They've been trying to take down this channel. It's okay. Nothing will be the end of the world. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you, as a grown-ass woman, nothing bothers me. Hold on. Oh, man, so close. Come on, work with me. Oh, damn. Work with me. Oh, there you go. Upside down exorcist. Guys, don't worry about that. <laughs> I will take it down. It, thank God you can edit that shit out. Exorcist. Upside down shadow. Don't worry about it, sweetie. Don't apologize because something happened to me. I know from whence it came from. Facing fear of facing your own demon. Upside down. So let's read it. Shadow exorcist attacks the evil in others without having the courage to face your own demon. So if Mary testifies, my prayer is that she is healed enough to understand that something in her past could come up. Yes. I hope that Mary gets to see that it's better if you tell your own truth. I agree. <laughs> right? Oh. All right, everyone, I love you. I thank you for letting me do this. 
I love how unfazed you are. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't meant to look at. <laughs> it wasn't much to look at. <laughs> yeah, I mean, listen, the one thing I can tell you is if YouTube shuts me down, another door opens. I am never concerned. But I'll tell you what, this, I honestly believe that in my lifetime, I've never had anything like this. And I believe this is still the Lamar effect. And I really want to question you all that follow him and not understand that he is a very, very bad person. So it's up to you. I am not begging any of you to believe in me. Thank you, Sin W. Thank you. Oh my God, goddess, that is the best. I agree. I only found out about him because of you, but he's lost my following. I agree. I agree. Um, you guys, I agree. I. Uh, that's an evil little boy. If you. is an evil child. Evil. <laughs> uh. Oh, yeah, I've been started, Nitra. Yes, now I clumped them all together into earth, water, da-da-da-da. So June is almost here. So either tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, I try to do one or two a day. He is very messy and he is a liar. He is. Who is Lamar? I've been trying to follow along to figure out for a few minutes. It doesn't matter. Oh, this is from X. This is Twitter. Yes. No one from Twitter ever responds. Yes. Hi, Twitter. Oh, my God. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's an evil little boy. And it's sad. Right. I never thought I would see that on a spiritual channel. Right. So it is what it is. I'm just going to complain to YouTube. It's, it's. <laughs> the evil is real and it's it, it's young and it's stupid. Oh my god. Oh, thank you, sweetie. Yeah. I mean, again, I'm just going to repeat why we fell out. So you all can understand. Remember, I'm getting up in age, right? So I'm still like I'm becoming more of a mother crone, right? And nothing against that. I know I look young as shit, so I'm not worried. But I was getting complaints that he was taking money for readings and not doing them, like literally not doing them. But he would be doing his videos on celebrity topics. And in some of these videos, people were saying, you can do a video, but you can't do my reading. So I was getting the complaint. So in private, I said to him, I'm concerned. Are you spiritual or are you a hustler? Do your job. Do your readings. Now, again, I said it like mother. So unless you have problems with your mother which he does, I now understand why he took it the wrong way. 
He has problems with authority figures. So I've never had to chastise him before, but I did this time because we're attached. We're doing readings together. So you are not allowed to make me look bad by people calling me. And then I'm forced to have a conversation with you. And then people were getting mad at me because I'm connected to him. So they weren't now doing readings with me, which is crazy. And I was like, I'm gonna nip this. Let me have a conversation. Hopefully he can change. Instead of changing, he puts out a whole video. Tracy Brown Toothless, that by the way, has 10,000 views. That by the way, if you look at the comments, the comments are horrible against me, horrible. And most of these people, half of them don't even know me. They just like the drama. But it's so unfair to invest in drama and not understand I'm a good damn reader. Queen, I need to know who you are. So you're going to have to type in and let me know that you're safe. Anyway, I had to stop it. And we used to be a part of a spiritual group as, as a group. And he got kicked out the group because he was doing unscrupulous things and making people feel uncomfortable. So there's been little things that I have not talked to you guys about that's been happening. That was a visual thing that happened. I did nothing but tell the truth. I know. I got hooked on me as all. Thank you. All right, you can come back in, sweetie. Everybody keeps telling me you could tell he watches my videos. Oh, and then, you know, I didn't tell you guys this, but then he had his people. Mm. He was telling his people to report my channel. Seriously. So they did. <laughs> oh my God. All right, I'm gonna add you, Queen. Hi. Hey, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. How are you? What's I'm amazing. Good health, Tracy. Thank you. What's your take on Mary J. Blige? Oh, my goodness. So this is like 1995, 1996, New York. Okay. Okay. So put your mind there mentally. Yeah. During this time, there was a bad boy was more like a gang, like a street gang. Oh, I saw that comment. Yes, that's what I was trying to, you know, let you know. They were like thugs, like one, like Wendy Williams. Mm -hmm. Though she is who she is, mm -hmm. I will take nothing from that queen. She is the goat. Yes. There would be no Tasha K, you know, when and so Tasha could fly, honey. Yes, yes, right. So she, who has a legit degree in journalism, yes, absolutely, she's educated, was the first ever to say Puffy is doing, you know questionable acts with other men which, yes mm -hmm. i remember that she was beaten up for it um puffy sent total the group total down to the station to beat her up now it's all clear she was the first to report about mr c rest in peace i won't take nothing from that brother either Right, right. He's the GOAT of that right. New York right. DJ, you know, pump it up thing. But 
he also was a connoisseur of gentlemen of the night that look like ladies. Mm. And it's well known in New York. Wendy says something about it. I believe one of the hip hop, uh, you know, guys that wrote a book, Mr. C was in there as well. It's well known. Right. That his trade was his trade, but what he did out there in that uh, Power 97 van was what he did too. Right. Okay, so these things are happening, but it's hyper-masculine. So no one's willing to speak on it because, you know, back then, gay was a horrible thing to be. Parents were still yes. kicking out kids for being gay. Yes, bad. absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Nowadays, little Jimmy can say, hey, my name's Stephanie, and you better respect it. Okay. And if you don't buy me heels, this is child abuse. I'm out of here. I'm blowing this popsicle stand. They can call CPS now. Mm. She doesn't let me be a woman. Mm. I know. I'm going where I'm respected. I can't go into the girls' room. That was taboo when we were kids. Right. The boys it would have been more embarrassing for P. Diddy to mm -hmm. be fluid. Exactly. It would not have been accepted. Biggie would have literally fell over and died because he was who he said he was. He just was a very young man who was still coming into himself, learning the rules, learning the game. Yeah. And Puffy came and broke up him and his best friend, Tupac Shakur. So the reason that these guys were so phenomenal is because they like fostered each other in a way. They were great friends. Yeah. But after Pac was shot, which allegedly Puffy did have something to do with, and allegedly Kim's book was going to talk about that story, but she did talk about that story with certain people. And she said Biggie was sick. He wasn't supposed to be coming. Puff made him come. Mm -hmm. And Little C saw Pop downstairs. And he was like, you know, what are you doing here? You know, he's like, well, I'm up here. You know, we're upstairs. We're all recording. Oh, well, I'm recording too. And as C gets on the elevator, Tupac is ambushed and shot. Mm -hmm. So he shot in front of one of Biggie's people while Biggie is there. Right. He felt there's no way you could not have known they were going to do this to me. And you're supposed to be my brother. How dare you? But Except was, that P. Diddy knew. He was the one who set it all up and made sure Biggie was there. Like Big wasn't even feeling good. He wasn't there. They made him come. Damn. And he comes and his friend gets shot up. And then Pac is like, well, he, he, he tried to kill me. He tried to kill me. Not saying that it was big in particular. I understand. But all of y'all know what happened. All of y'all yes. know this happened. All of y'all know. But the, one who owned, the ones who really knew was Puffy and Kim Porter. She kept a lot of his secrets. She knew a lot of his tea. Oh, shit. A lot of those rituals that you see, like when you were reading my comments, I'll tell you the truth. You were reading my comments and I saw with your eyes, like you were calling me. You were like, come back. <laughs> so I was like, oh, she's I saw me. the rituals. There's rituals. Yes. Look, I'm like, let me go back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you came back. <laughs> I'm so glad. I'm like, let me just go glad. back. I ain't putting another person on because this is ridiculous. I saw it. I saw it. That was a, a, a nasty perv. Yeah, you got to watch out. They'll do that to try to like shut your, shut your, shut your lives down because you're talking about something they don't want you to talk about. YouTube is 
it's a real tough handle on this thing right now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I'm not really worried. Mm -hmm. Like, the one thing I can't let YouTube do is control my life. You don't have that spirit, so you're not going to really be worried. Like, I'm not really like, oh, my God, YouTube. Like, because I don't even say that stuff or, you know. Yes. I have never made YouTube <laughs> my world. Right. So, like, never. it's not I, a big deal. It's when No, they I've it always together. used it. I've always mm -hmm. used YouTube so you all could see that I'm accurate. That's the it's, only reason why you've always it. been accurate, scarily accurate, and I would only <laughs> really accurate I know. times and like, cause like one time you scared me, cause like I'm a baby in this whole thing. Like this was something that was like kind of passed on, and they told me at the last minute that I wasn't crazy. So it's more of a just obeying. Bingo. Obeying spirit, obeying intuition, and I'm not used to it. Listen to spirit. Spirit is, you're not crazy, and spirit is talking to you. I know that now, like, it's just mm -hmm. I'm not used to it because I've been blocking it out for so long doing dumb stuff. Because as black people, we don't encourage it. It was not encouraged for me. It was something was like not. that was not talked about. No one talked about it. And like when my dad was passing away, he shared something with me. He's like, when I was 16, I was told about you. My uncle told me I would have one child. And when my one child has her second son that I would die. And I was very hurt and upset when you had that little boy, but I was happy. But I was very angry because I knew my time was at an end. And I'm like, what? And he's like, yes. So the one that I had is the one that's like my uncle. So it's not that you were crazy. I just didn't want you to be like them. Mm. So I had nobody to hold my hand, nobody to knuckle. Yes, to develop. Unprotected. Yes. You know, unprotected. Like, if it wasn't for God, if it wasn't for yes. the angels, the ancestors, if it yes. wasn't for all of them wrapped up, yes. I would have been got. Okay? Yes. Well, let me tell you something. My mother was labeled crazy. She was in an institution for three months when she was 16 years old. Yeah, because that's when it starts. That's exactly. When it starts. You get it as a baby, right? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then the your parents encourage there's there's you don't have a special friend Still, and so you let it go but it comes back again. Yeah, especially if you're related to people that transition. If you're in one of those bloodlines where they leaving and coming fast, and I was well, in one of those bloodline of people that have second sight. It, and yes, come from they, a bloodline of people that have second. My mother went to this. When she came out, of course, she never encouraged us. And never wanted to talk about it, never wanted to tell you, never wanted to Could nothing. It. And Could here it. you are having dreams about it before it happens. But Seeing here's the spirits thing. of people. Here's the thing. <laughs> Even though I did not have support in the Black community, mm -hmm. I went to a white community who was completely support. open to this stuff. Yeah. So taught by drones, pagans, um, witches. I just, it didn't matter to me. I was like, this is not my world. It's a spirit this is thing. the only world that I can invest it's in. It's a spirit thing at that point. It's a but spirit wait a thing. So when I got mature enough to accept who I was, mm -hmm. that's when I went on YouTube. And that's when I, you know, wanted to invest in Black folks, not being scared of this. And then right. who made it much better? TikTok. Okay. Okay. I'm going to try. Like, I'm just not. Get out here. I'm I not ready. <laughs> I just wanted ready. to, like, I just like to come in if I'm called and say, like, the really important stuff that I'm screaming inside. Like, 
So I'm in your chat just screaming with my fingers like, Isaac was sent in there. He was sent in there. Yes, you're right. He was sent in there to clean that woman out. She fell in love with him. Yes. She like worshipped him like Thank God. You. Thank and you. He put up this. He changed her image from an unprofessional druggie to the queen of R&B. That's what he did that was so marketable. That's why he was an asset. That's why she owed him after, okay? Yeah. You're talking about tangibles, good health, Tracy. Tangibles, my darling, okay? Yes. We're talking about tangibles. Yes. And Mary is a tangible because she was there in the beginning. Yes, she was victimized in the beginning. Yes. But just like MC Light and the rest of them, she became a gatekeeper. One that one had to go through to get into the thing. But the only one who didn't have to go by her was Miss Faith Evans. Faith Evans was sent and Biggie loved the ground her dirty drawers. He loved her. Mm. And he was blinded because he had a group, a, 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 a company called Undeas and it was a group mm -hmm. called the Commission and Jay-Z mm -hmm. mm -hmm. was in the Commission. This was supposed to be the baddest rap crew out of New York. Okay? The Commission. Alright? That was the name of the project. The project was done. Okay, now I'm jumping into him uh, 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 right before it's going, right before the, his time is up. And he's going to a shoe, right, mm -hmm. to do his uh, record. Mm -hmm. And instead of the Rolexes and the Coogee sweaters and the girls, they ask him to stand next to a hearse. And he's just very worried. Tupac's dead. And he's just really worried, like, what the hell is going on? Right while he gets all writing credits for the entire Junior Mafia. The commission is his. He's leaving Bad Boy. The commission is going to be his first album. Right. Under his label. All right. It's a guy called Lance Riviera. Lance Riviera was the one that was getting Biggie out of that contract. Puffy had a horrible contract, but he 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 did what he was supposed to do. Biggie was a man of his word, even though he was young. He he lived up to it. He gave him the albums. He got Craig Mack out of the way, and, and he made it what it needed to be. It was gangster like Puffy wanted it. It was rough and tough and street like he wanted it. This is why they have A&Rs, to paint a picture for the public. That picture was painted. We don't need him anymore. Why? Because after this person is gone, there is a non-performance clause. These words that I forget regularly are coming out. It's a yes. non-performance clause. And if this person does not perform because i.e. death or whatever, we get paid. That's that insurance policy that you're hearing people talk about. It's called the non-performance clause. And when that person does not perform, you get the money off of them that they would have made in that lifetime. You get it? No. <laughs> okay, let's do it again. <laughs> the non-performance clause. Walk right. with me. Walk with me. Talk with me. Be my friend now. Okay. All right. The non-performance clause is in the recording contract it is a clause that states that if for whatever reason this artist does not perform if they die or have an unfortunate event but they can't go and make the money that yeah. I would have made right. I have invested I have put my money into this right okay if right. I don't get that money, I am automatically eligible 
for an insurance policy Got to it. get the money that this person would have made in their That's lifetime. That's the me. insurance policy. I never understood the okay. insurance policy. Okay. That is it. It's called the non-performance clause. So the mm. guy Gene deal, he's not lying. Biggie had a contract. The contract said that the entire Junior Mafia was under him. Who was in Junior Mafia busting it down? Lil' Kim, his protege, his lover. She was making it hot. Little C's was making it hot. And he had a couple more coming too. Black Rob came out. It was a couple of more that was supposed to come. These are guys from bed -Stuy. They're from Brooklyn. Right. And Puffy is a Harlem dude. They're known for being kind of slick, but slimy and grimy at the same time. So yes. Brooklyn people are already going to look at them like he got something. You know what I'm saying? So it was right. always in the back of Biggie's mind that he could do something to me, but he did not understand contract law. He did not understand that clause. Mm. Mm. That if he died, his mother would get something. Now, mind you, a person has an entourage, an entertainer. Right, right. The company has to pay for all of these hotel rooms, all of right. this food, all of this right. stuff. Right, right. Now, that I know. Yes. I get rid of the artist. I get rid of the entourage and I just have to sit down with this person's mother once a year, give her some money and I'm out. Everything else I keep. That's what he did. Mm. That's disgusting. That's what he did to that poor young man mm. who is commanding justice from where he is. He wants justice for what they did to him. They spilled innocent blood. He, he wasn't a saint. It. He wants what? justice, Kim. Oh my God, Kim. Biggie's Kim mother, Biggie's uh, mother. Uh, like they're powerful now. There's too many of them up there. It is so. They all want justice now, and they're coming. Yes, in in that song, it's like a crusade energy, like like a crusade. You know, like back in the biblical days when people were like fighting for God, and it's like they're like. Jesus walks with me like there. There's a lot of them, and they're young and old and and yes. and, and, and powerful. You see yes. the, the young ones, uh, the young ones from Chicago and the young ones from New York, and they're guided by these kind of elder spirits because they were older in the physical, right. right? But some of them were small but mighty, mighty souls. Right. And that was the reason they, I'm telling you, the boy from Chicago, uh, 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 FBG Duck, was murdered the day after he signed the contract. What? The day after he signed his name. He was gunned down by five people. And then they said another kid had him do it. So this kid, you know, he was a very busy kid. He, his name, he was very charismatic. His name was in everything. Uh, King Vaughn, you know, very charismatic, handsome young man. You know, not a saint, but hey, it's we're products of our environment. Right. And um, he's the fall guy for this case. He's the fall guy for a shooting where his friend is the one that did it. You can clearly see. And he's he's the fall guy, but he's also what that boy needed to pull that energy off of him and wear it himself. That's what Puffy does. He pulls the energy off those young men and he wears it. So his old 50-something tail can go diddy bopping around and humping and jumping with the young people, knowing damn well his knees hurt. He done stole these young people energy off of them. Yep. He pulled it off and he hooks on to him through the anal cavity. That's where he grabs it. And Kim knew all of this. Kim knew it all. Kim was privy to all. Kim was 
either with them or know about it. That's how tight they were. That's how they conceived those twins with tantric magic. Most people don't realize that sex is magic. No, they don't know about the transfers. I surely didn't coming up. <clears throat> I didn't know that the old people meant something oh, when they said lay down the dog. Out. People want to talk about black magic. The real uh, black magic is sex. What the old people used to say, lay down with dogs, you get fleas. I never understood what my grandma meant when she said that till I got older and saw that somebody could walk away with a real nice chunk of you if they think about the right thing while they sleeping with you. And they wake up all powerful and you can barely move and you think they somebody just gives you real good. And he done wiped you clean. About to have him some good luck. And honey. And you can't move. You exhausted. Oh, Lord. Lord have mercy. Yeah, that part. You know, mm -hmm. you, you, I don't know why you're not in the metaphysical world because clearly that statement alone Mm -hmm. You know, we clean it up when we call it tantric sex, right? Right. But but tantric sex sex is good. It it's is good. It hold is on. If you, hold yeah. on, hold on, because I want to remind people that sex is good. But when you let someone take your sex, even if you think you're giving it willingly, mm -hmm. and you come out of that, you don't know what they're taking from you. Mm -mm. And that's why Diddy has all these sex parties. Because he opens them up. I that's wish why you hear about understand people. that. That's why I you wish hear about young people being there. This young person, this young person, right. this young person, right. this young person. They have young energy and young frequency and these old vultures. They're, 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 they're shriveled up and look like, you know, Michael Jackson thriller in spirit. They don't even look like people. Yes. So they pulled the energy off of young people. I'm just going to say one person name. Look at Justin Bieber. I know. Perfect I example. I that agree. poor baby. Yes. There's, like, they took everything from him. My it heart everything weeps for him. My heart weeps for that. I don't, right I don't know if you saw when I started, but when I started the video, the first thing I I, I can't remember now because I got to look at myself again too. Okay. It was in reference to, was it Cassie or Mary J. Blige? I can't remember. And it very, like, when you sleep with the devil and I'm calling the devil, I'm calling the devil P. Diddy. When right. you sleep so. with the devil. Just, I got to look at the beginning of the video to tell you exactly what I said, but. It's okay. You can, you can, uh, what is it? You know, transliterate, if you will. Well, basically what I was saying was, I just don't know uh, if it was Mary J. Blige, but I believe it was. And I was like, if you sleep with the devil. Hmm. You're in trouble, but you got to know that that's what's happening. She you was too messed up but you slept with the devil for money for your career. He was too messed up off drugs. Her dad started getting her high at a very young age. Her dad was a musician and she started oh, no. to drink really young. She did cocaine really young. She smoked oh, weed she really had to take her down. And yes, and by the time she got to Puffy, she was a full blown addict. When she gave her demo, she did it in a mall studio booth. And she was high as a kite, but she had a talent on her, gifted yes. it to her by the creator. A gift. A gift. And you know, Puffy knew what he wanted, the image he wanted, which was this 
rough and tough b-boy you know back in the day we called it b-boy you know uh he wanted that image so she was that she embodied that that was her energy that he was spreading all over the place so that's what you're seeing when you're seeing that part where she's given something and it's something that's not being said what's not being said is how he took her energy mm. he took it he took it and she was always high and then she hooked up with another guy that was getting high uh Casey from 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 Jodeci. Yes. He was yes, also that's, that's, in the throes. Yeah. Yes, he was also in the throes of addiction. So they let those two get together and have a really toxic thing going on and fed them drugs. Mind you, both companies are eating off of both of them. You know, mm. because now they have an object of affection opposed to just letting them you know, have the groupies on the road. Now they have a person, okay? The same thing they did with Bobby and Whitney. It's called the Svengali syndrome. When we give a hand, when we give, you know, like the blind leading the blind, when we put two of them together and put the power in one of their hands. Mm. So only one of them knows about the plan, but they are both equally tied together yes like on the devil card they're equally chained mm. to this thing which is addiction and the devil mm. and um okay so she's that for a while everything faith comes around when faith comes around mary's not getting the attention she's used to uh things you know she 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 wants to get away from puffy and that's when kendu was sent in to make her think she got away, to make her think that she was reinventing herself by getting away from Puffy. But of is course, that her husband who came who came in? It was her husband. Yes, that's the one that Puff that they sent in. Yes. See, so, I saw him as a handler. I knew it. Yes, he was the handler. And he was the one that took her from the B-boy, real love, sneakers and slout socks to the queen, the queen, the queen, the title, okay? It came from him. That was his work, his a &R work, his PR work. He worked hard to get that coming late, high off coat drinking, you know, all the Hennessy reputation off her. That's why he's being paid to this day, because he performed a, a magical feat. Mm. Okay? Something that the best institutions can't do. Mm. He dusted her off, changed that image, turned her from the Murray that we grew up with. Right. Right. Okay, Mary was what we listened to when, you know, we were happy, we were depressed, we were, you know, the nineties, you know. Yeah. And they, 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 cha they changed that because they took so much of her away. He took so much of her. And Wasn't she even called the Queen of Remix? He's the king of the remix. He's the king. Got it. Mm -hmm. Because Got it. he's the first person that took like, don't push me because I'm close to, you know, he's yeah. the first person that took that and made it another song. He's mm -hmm. the first person that took those, you know, 19. So basically, he's not talented. He's stolen. Okay. For example, it's a guy called Sauce Money. Yeah. Keep he, talking. The people are listening. Keep talking. I got to go to the bathroom, but keep talking. Sauce. Hey, guys. Sauce is from, uh, he's from Harlem. And he wrote a song because his mom had uh, transitioned. And his mom had passed on, and he was very sad. So he took the song from the police, I'll Be Watching You. And he took that song, and he wrote his own lyrics about how he felt about his mother passing. And he ran it by his buddy Puff. Mind you, they Harlem dudes. 
Puffy stole the whole song and lied and told everybody that he wrote that song for Biggie, had Faith singing the hook, and they went to court and sourced one. He's a writer till this day. That's how bad, that's why he's so desperate to hold on to people because he has no talent. That's why he hooks himself and pulls and pulls and pulls. Look at the many, many people who have come into contact with him. And now they're just out here just messed up. And we don't know what to say about them. Or they're dead. Or they have literally left their body. Because their spirit couldn't handle being drained like that. And the ones that did which he loves to humiliate them, you know, like the kids that were in uh, the band, the humiliation that he would push upon those children. It wasn't just for the show. It was to train them to obey him, even when it went against their core, their heart, their soul, their spirit. It was to obey him before all, like when God said, take no other graven image before me, it was like that. He wanted those children to forsake all values and bow to him. And some of them did and some of them didn't. He could, you know, but at the end, the deed was still done. He pulled all of their energy off them. Mm. They gave him uh talking about the band? Yes. Saddest, saddest MTV ever. Mm. But I apologize. I just got that. Well, all I was saying about them was I was talking about Sauce Money, the guy who took the song from the police, I'll be watching you. I heard that part. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. And how he put his own lyrics in because his mom had passed on. And he wrote his mother a beautiful song. And he decides to let his buddy, who's in the news business, who's also a Harlem dude, Puffy, listen to it. Puffy stole it, got Faith to sing the hook. And then they presented it, premiered it on the MTV Awards. Sauce won in court. <gasps> you have no product. It's just like if I was selling jelly and I run out of jelly, I'm going to hold on to the little bit of jelly I got so I can get me some money. Oh, wait a second. So that video after Biggie died with faith in it, he sold that? There you go. But that took him over the edge. There you go. It's called the ritual, Miss Tracy. It's a ritual what was performed. See, the night that Biggie died, everybody was at the Ford Motor Coliseum. Everyone was at that party. Everybody from the East Coast, everybody from the West Coast. Everyone was there. Faith was even there. After Biggie That's died, Faith is involved. There you go. Listen, everyone was there to witness what you do when 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 Puffy want listen one of the questions that Kim Porter asked was how are we gonna go out there how are you gonna go out there and live and we still don't know who killed Big that's when she realized that it was him that's when she realized he did it because nobody from the east coast was willing to go out there but Tretch, who was Pac's friend through it all. So they knew not to touch him because he still went back and forth even when the beef was hot. Tretch stayed loyal to Pac. That was his good friend. Right. From Naughty by Nature. Pepper's uh, old husband. Right. Very loyal to Pac. Pac was one of his best friends. But nobody else not Jay-Z, not nobody would go out west because they knew what would happen. 
okay? This is how Tupac was murdered. Because he was going out west and he needed protection. So he got the Crips. It was no way he could get the Bloods because the Bloods are under Suge. And they obey Suge. Because Suge got money. And Suge will hurt you. Okay? That's another one. Wasn't an angel. But they put a jacket on him that he could never recover from. And they blamed it all on Suge. When mm-hmm. Puffy was present the night Pop died, everybody was at the Tyson fight. And Keefe D, who's sick and passing away, he decided to say his piece. Everybody decided to say their piece. Suge not- he is dying? Yeah, he's sick. Oh, my God. He's sick. They locked him up. They put him in jail. Some person from outer space came and paid, paid that high bail and got him out because they were jumping on him and attacking him in the jail. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And there was a million-dollar check that was paid. And then the guy did not pay Keefe D the money that yeah. he was supposed to receive. So yeah, you didn't pay my, yeah, so you don't I pay me my that. money. Right. Yeah, you don't pay me my money. You got me hot, got these people looking at me. And then at the end, I can't even go back incognito and handle none of my business. Everybody know me now. So I can't even be a gangster. I'm going to make everybody hot. Got these hip-hop cops looking at me and all of that. So he started talking. But he just never said the whole story. And Orlando Anderson, the one that they said did it, he couldn't have done it. He was good friends with Suge. He idolized Tupac. He spoke on Suge's behalf at his trial before he got murdered. Yeah, out of nowhere. Yeah, Yeah, out of nowhere. Just, Just pow, pow. It was a whole lot more to that. Like when he got murdered, everybody got on their phone and said they got him. Like the shot heard around the world. Right. They got him. Because they knew he had no business there. They knew he should not have been there. Why would Puff bring him there? And then take his best good friend. On the on the day of a lifetime, shopping and this and that. Oh, we out in Cali, you know, mm-hmm. so he would be unprotected. And then you got his wife over in the other hotel. She's in town too. They're going through a problem because why? Because she slept with Tupac, mm-hmm. and everybody knows she slept with him. And mm-hmm. then she got pregnant. So he's very angry with her at this time. Yep. Okay? Yep. Her mask is slipping off. So he's starting to see. But it's a little bit too late because Kurt Barrows said that Biggie was supposed to be in London. And at the last minute, Puffy said no. He wanted Biggie to record on his album in L.A. You got a million studios in New York. Why do you have to go to L.A. to record? Right. It made no sense. Mm. It made no sense. And then you get them out there. The security says, run the light. And Puffy says, no. And then the car gets shot up. And then they only hit him. They Mm. only hit him. And he sends security to go get his things and go get on the plane. He didn't even sit on the plane while they took that boy back home to his mama. Mm. Real love, real camaraderie, real brotherhood, real sisterhood. You would have rolled back with your people. You wouldn't have left that place. You would have to. Come on. He left that boy. He left that boy. Mm. And Stevie J went right over to her hotel as soon as they pronounced them dead. Mm. 
these things are real. And it was all a ritual. It was all a Shakespearean drama to have everybody looking at some dumb stuff. They use us like fodder. They use us like, you know, like right now. Mm -hmm. We have a Supreme Court judge who is, who shouldn't be there. Well, hold on. Hold on. Mm -hmm. on. I'm not going to let you go too far. Okay. Thank you. I, I travel far. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for stopping. No, 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 no. Because the the this is a big rabbit hole. Not yeah. what you're saying. Yes, but, but we got to call it in too line. big of a rabbit hole that involves a political yes. people. And we got to call it in the lines. Uh, See, that's why I'm scared to do it. We got to call it in the well, line. Well, hold on a second. No, we're talking about a gift, but. Yeah. But you just have to know okay. that there are things sometimes that you just hold back. All right. So that has nothing to do with I'm scared to do it. No, don't pull that crap. Hold back. Yeah. Hold you back. You can still do this without so with much the exposure. And the reason why I'm saying that, so one of my rules is I don't talk about it unless I've already heard it. Everything okay. you said. I've already studied. Excellent. So I'm not a I'm not a rap person, right? I don't listen right. to rap. I don't follow rap. I don't. Fo- but when it's the time, thing. I'm studying everything and all the videos. Yes. So everything you said, I've already heard. It pops out like I was into it big time until the whole war where somebody had to be from the West Coast and the East Coast, and it was people really like getting into it and. You know, it was it was something that you could see that was being manufactured, not by the people. Thank it you. was fake. I, and I remember it, that. I remember that. Yes, it wasn't like we felt that way, but like from the real big, uh, like XXL and stuff like that. Like from the real big, like the first caption would be East Coast West Coast War. You know, I and remember no war like everybody was normal it didn't become like what the heck is going on until both of them were gone Mm -hmm. we started seeing certain people ascend to certain thrones like how is jay-z the best rapper in the world he wasn't even number five i'd like to know that too but Somebody tell me, please. I, 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 I I'm trying that. to understand. I'd like um, to know that too. Doesn't make sense to me, but I'm, carry I'm on. Quiet, like, like, sit, like, carry last on. Time. Right. I'd like to know that too. It don't he, make sense. Rock him, aka the God MC, who wrote the rap dictionary for people who don't know how to rhyme. Oh, he wrote the rap dictionary. Of course he did. He's the God MC. It's, it, it, he had to. It's Rock him. Like, he doesn't even get old. Like, he's like golden, bro. <laughs> mm-hmm. His spirit is like golden. Like, <laughs> I love him. But however, those things, it just got weird. And they just forced this, oh, we're at war on us. And meanwhile, everything around us is really at war with us, like, you know, and and we just think, oh, you know, they just put a groovy beat to it and, you know, everybody's stepping and people like me stopped stepping and was like, well, wait a minute, what did he just say? Hold on, like, I wasn't stepping no more, like, no, wait a minute, what did that dude just say? Hold up, run that back, like, and then... You know, he becomes number one and uh, uh, Aaliyah's gone. And, and then this other girl who doesn't dance as great as her is now number one. And uh, I had a girlfriend who came out around the time they did. The group was called ISIS. I-S-S-Y-S. Mm-hmm. They won a Lady of Soul Award. And my best buddy was the lead singer 
Like Usher was in their video. They got a song with Jada Kiss. Like they were, you know, they were they were really great. And um during that time, there just was no more room for another female group. There was no room because there was something monumental going on. And what happened was the four prominent uh, CEOs of hip hop companies tried to rage against the machine by creating their own distribution company. Mm. And Jay Prince writes about this in his book. Mm -hmm. um, Irv Gotti talks about it as well. Because as soon as they came up with this bright idea, their offices were raided. Irv went to jail. Jay Prince was under investigation. Suge got locked up. And Dame Dash is where he is now. Mm. So there was one person who was privy to this knowledge. And that person went back and told the PTB and when they went back they were rewarded handsomely and everyone else was flushed down the toilet or put in file 13 as they used to say mm. so we have what we call hip hop royalty today where the children are playing around with 808 and different megahertz um, which is why a grown man could sing about something like a Laffy Taffy and you don't see how stupid it is and you just start dancing mm. because they're playing with your receptors in your brain with they're the, playing with the frequencies in your brain Yep. yes they're playing with your dopamine receptors so you feel good when you hear this something floods through you that feels good mm -hmm. and it's through that and drugs and other things that that chemical is released into your brain and it's tempo it's dumbing, it's dumbing you down yes it is and a lot of people which is why i think i don't invest in hip-hop I, at this time, it is not a good investment because um, right now what they're doing is they've made it hyper violent. So what they're saying now is uh, like uh, Future came with a song. It was called uh, Molly and Percocet. And if you see this guy in real life, he's not on drugs. Hmm. He's not on drugs. He's a normal, regular guy riding around Atlanta with a straw hat on. He's, like, from a real country, country family. Like, he lives on acreage. Right. And all of these people are playing around with that. So the more violent your music, the more popular you'll be, then they'll set you up with some opposition, some people you're supposed to hate. Then yeah. you are going to battle on wax, but not really. And then somebody's going to die. And yeah. then they're going to, you know, capitalize off the non, you know, the non-performance clause. And recently, within the last five years, all of those people have come from a distribution company that I won't name. But they've all been signed by a company that when you sign with them, it's a distribution deal. So you become your own record label once you sign with them. And so you get a lot of other people up under there. You make a whole lot of money. They give you this. I'll give you a hint. They get a diamond encrusted star ring. Mm -hmm. That's the hint. You find every entertainer with one of those on. And nine times out of ten, they are no longer residing in their body. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. That's how she blows. And mm. Puffy in head, he got sloppy. 
he thought he was bigger than the ones that put him in place. Right. And they did not like that. They did not like the fact that when this went on with Kim, they had to go through a lot to cover cover it up. People had to be fired. People had to be moved around. And People then, had to die. Yes. And too many pictures. Too much, too much got out. It was too sloppy. It wasn't clean enough. Mm. Unclean to the point where they knew one day they would come knocking for him. Mm. So let's, why not do it today? Because I'm tired of you anyway. Too big for your britches, boy. The same way I found you is the same way I'm going to leave you. And I'm going to take all your babies and I'm going to put them in handcuffs in front of you as a ritual to show you that they Bingo. belong to me. Bingo. Okay? Yep. They've always belonged to me. Yep. But today I'm going to show you. Mm. And that's what's going on. And it's crazy. I feel. And that's why Kim is raging. Her babies. Her babies were placed in this. It was okay when it was just her. But you, you hooked my babies. You erased me from their memory. No, that's too much. At the time where they really needed my guidance, they're in my field. Yeah. The things that happened to me, I won't let happen to them. And you take her out her body. You get a $100,000 casket that takes two weeks to fashion ready in three days just way too sloppy mm, mm, mm. juicy juicy Woo. Oh, look just go back i am everything i said just check it out and no see no i don't know about everybody else but i've been studying oh that's why man. i didn't stop you mm -mm. I love it. nope no nope. love it been following all of this since I, Kim died. Yeah. Since yeah. Kim died. I've been following all of this. I've been looking at it, but it is such a ugly thing to see when the kids well, were going away. It was just like. That's when I got concerned. Yes. With all yes. them young That's kids, the they were going back to back. And I was yes. like, what the hell? What is yes. happening? Yes. How are they getting away with this? That's what I was saying to myself. Yes. How are they getting away with this? Because Look, in certain rappers that people, you know, yes. that they make up to be lame or whatever, they made songs where they were warning these young yes. people. Like the guy, the game, he made a song. It was called Dreams. In that thing, in that video, he's sitting across from a lookalike of Jam Master J. And he's saying, I wish that I could go back and tell you about the scandals. I wish I could have told uh, Biggie about the Rampart scandal. Like, I wish I could have told you that more than half of the LAPD was was indicted and put in jail years after you passed away. Mm. I wish I could have told Pac that night, you know, like he got into it. And, and, and that's why he has the jacket that he has on him. Lame, coward, weirdo, blah, blah, blah. But he told the big all of this is in a song called dreams dreams but you gotta look at the video too because that's what makes it real wait <laughs> mm -hmm. by oh, the game and wait wait that hold on child who, who made dreams child it was it was the game that's his name the game 
And child, when you see that jam, Master J, it, it's a relative. It got to be his kin. I heard it was his cousin. Child, that baby looked just like him with the hat and the. When I seen that, just put tears in my eyes. The rap of the game. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to listen to it. Yes, girl. All right. Thank you. No problem. Anytime. But listen, I love you. I love you more. Thank you so much for just doing what you do and being an inspiration. Mm -hmm. Like, I call myself good health and wealth, Tanya, because of you. Like, I'm like, okay, I got to speak this. I got to, I got to get serious now. Like, and it's all from just like, just, just, you know, just walking, just on this, on this journey, just walking. And I see you and I'm like, oh man, she's awesome. Cause I see things some people don't really see. And, you know, when you get around somebody and it's like it's like this pulling thing it's this back and forth pulling thing mm -hmm. it's like no go back no go back you know and with you when i saw you scrolling because i was still back in the chat like do 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 you know thank you you're great you know and but i can see your eyes and your eyes nice. are like you gotta come back and I'm like, oh, I'm just going to stay here and watch the show. No, go back. And like, this I'm is what spirit so glad you came back. Because I was debating. I kept looking at you and I was like, oh, I should bring. But I always listen to spirit. So I was like, oh, I should bring her on. I should bring her on. Nothing makes sense. Mm -hmm. And then you heard me say goodbye. So I was like, oh, I'm just going to end this. And then you left. Yeah. And then I think I saw, I said, I just felt something. And I was like, just let me know in the comments. Yes. Wait, I got to tell you something else about that video dreams. It just came to me. Yeah. Okay. Game also said, watch out for those jackers at the Roscoe's. He said, watch out for the jackers at Roscoe's and then PNB Rock is killed by a jacker at Roscoe's. Oh my God. A young kid from Philly. He was a young boy, a baby, a baby. And he goes in there with his lady to go to this world famous chicken spot. And then somebody comes in and demands his chain and then shoots him and leaves him to die. But Game said in that song, watch out for the jackers. That's at Roscoe's. Mm. It's a lot of things. You got all this in the dream. I can't wait to listen to it now. Honey, I'm trying to tell you that that baby had him a dream like, like Dr. Martin Luther, honey. He had him a dream. Got it. I get okay. the connection. I get the connection. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Had him a dream. And Where is the game at now? What's he up to? That's what I'm saying. Look, he just keeps getting this really negative publicity. Uh, he's broke. He's this. He's that. You know, 50 Cent is like the troll of all trolls. So, like, after he puts his name on you, you can just... Throw your whole yeah. car in the trash. Yeah. But 50 should watch, too. Well, you know, in the beginning of his career, he was also a part of that little gaggle. He was with Puffy and Jay-Z. That's why he knows so much. Mm -hmm. And he was also with Dr. Dre and Eminem. Now, here's the connection. Now, girl, look. You got to, honey, you got to catch this tea right here. Now, this is serious. 50 does a whole album with Jam Master J. Jam Master J is murdered. And his entire record has Shady Aftermath on it. 
not nothing from Jam Master J. Ain't that nothing. Isn't Shady Eminem? Indeed. Lord. And Aftermath is Dr. Dre. Oh, Lord. So that led me down a whole nother street where I was like, well, I thought R Rundy, Reverend, I thought that he was a, a, a man of the cloth and I thought this and I thought that. And then when I looked with my eyes, I saw that DMC was the one who was truly hurt. He lost a brother. He lost a friend. He lost. It took a chunk of him. But that man of the cloth, honey, ain't better I live. Mm. And guess who took his place? Oh, I didn't know anybody did. His firstborn son. Oh. Jam Master J's firstborn son. Now, one of my girlfriends is like, you know, play sisters or something with her. And she hasn't heard from her oldest son since God knows when. When he started touring with them, he was cut off from the family. He saw them like one time, I believe, last year uh, when LL Cool J had this Rock the Bells concert and uh run dmc performed and they had they have him all over the world in his father's spot and he favors him well enough but right. it's the first cousin who looks exactly like him that's who game got to play him the cousin because mm. game wanted to put poetry in motion he wanted the world to see that his spirit wish it could talk to this man. Mm. Great man. This man who made a university for DJs. This man who took people out of nowhere and made them someone. 50 Cent wanted to drop a record called The Ghetto Quran. Mm. Jay said, it's no way I'm doing it. This is going to cause so a war. No, I won't do it. Next thing you know, uh, no more him. Hmm. No more him. And, and at the photos that were after the scene, you see Mr. Leor Cohen. You see a lot of people who sh probably shouldn't have been there. But they were there because they all have stake in this ritual. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, so he got a company. He made a company called 300. So when you hear the young kids say 300, 300, 300, 300, that's what they're talking about. They've got in bed with the devil. They've got in bed with Leor. Leor, who was with Dame Dash and got him to the top and then snatched Jay-Z away and whisked him off to the life of, you know, billions of dollars and pretty girls because wasn't nobody really checking for him. Let's be serious. Mm -hmm. Nobody still ain't checking for him. You going to tell me you ain't had to drug that pretty girl to get her to lay down with that old man? I call BS. What Rick Green say? He say, cold blank is a heck of a drug. Mm. That's what he said. Right. He said, I did a lot of things to a lot of people. And, you know, some of them I remember, some of them I don't. Mm. But I remember a good bit of it. And, yes, I did put my feet on Eddie's couch. He could have bought another one. Mm. <laughs> Mm. Okay. All right. I'm going to get up out of here. More because I'm sleepy. But, yes. but, do you, uh, email me. Okay. I'll look. So we can exchange numbers. Hold on a second. Okay. 
email me. That's All it right. right there. Because okay. got you. this Diddy thing is continuous. Oh, yeah. And one of the things I, I forgot now, I'm just getting tired. I wanted to check into was something that you said, but now I'm just too tired to remember. I'll go back over and look at this. And if you want to come on on a t topic, please do. Anytime, honey. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate you. I'm grateful. I am so happy I reinvested spiritually. And I was like, oh, I know she's okay. I just knew it, <laughs> but I didn't know it. And I was like, trust spirit, trust. I'm so glad you came on. Thank you for doubling back. I appreciate it. You're welcome. All right. Don't forget to email me or... Or if well, you, I'm going to email you and I'm going to okay. leave you my information. Okay. You have a blessed day. Good health. You treat. have a blessed day. Thank you so much. And to everyone else, I will edit out that crap. It's fine. Nothing phases me. But thank you for being a part of the restructuring of what's being dismantled. Yep, definitely the follow up. Good information, Renee. <laughs> you crack me up. <laughs> Amory goes, somebody said, this is a rabbit hole, Tracy. And so, uh, Amory goes, there are multiple rabbit holes. Yeah. Yeah. We need a part two. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Call me for your own personal reading. Listen, if you support me, the best way you can support me is get a reading with me. I'm accurate. I'm on time. Spirit never lies. So when you have concerns, you don't have to sit back and worry. That's my job. Let me tell you what's going to happen. Good or bad, remember. God is in the details. All you have to do is hear me well, and you can change the outcome. All right, guys. <laughs> it has to be a series. Oh, my God. I love you all. Take it easy. Bye. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live.